Hi everyone, this is Bethany. I'm going to show you how I use the OBS Studio to convert uh, 8mm home tapes from a camcorder and then make them digital on my computer. So, uh, you can download the OBS Studio for free online um, and then open up the program and then you're going to click this add a source button and then hook up the uh, video capture device. So right next to me I have my Sony camcorder hooked up to the computer using a USB 2.0 video capture device. So that goes from the USB port of my computer, uh, connects to the RCA cable, eventually to the camcorder. So all of these settings right here I keep on default. Click OK. Make this a little bigger and center it. Alright, so now we're ready to record. Let me go through the settings that I use real quick. Um, with the audio, you want to make sure that you only have one audio turned on, and that's going to be the video capture device. That way you're not going to have um, echoing or overlapping sound. So hit File, Settings and output and this is gonna be where you choose to have the um, recording path so in other words that's gonna be where the file will end up now I have a um, a one terabyte external hard drive and that's because these files end up being pretty big uh, for every hour that you record it's gonna be about one gigabyte of space so you really want to have an external hard drive to export those two so you're not taking up a ton of space on your computer. And then recording quality is going to be high quality, medium file size. Recording format is going to be MP4. Okay, and then audio, I make sure all of these are turned off because I don't want any overlap. I only want the video capture device to be the one with the sound. And then video, I have it set to base resolution is 1920 by 1080. Output resolution is 960 by 540. Downscale filter is by cubic. And then common F FPS values is 30. All right, hit apply. And then now you're ready to start recording. So. Hit the play button on your camcorder and then hit start recording. Just like that. Alright, this is pretty simple. Once you hit stop recording, then you can go find the file where you chose to export it. So that would be right here. And let's see. And there, there they are right here. These three. So what I normally do is I record them for about 15 seconds right at the beginning of the tape. Just to make sure I have all the audio, um, you know, all the audio sound good and, you know, the video quality is good. And then I rewind everything back to the beginning and then start recording again. So let me show you another trick. So I'm going to start recording again and when you go into the files you can actually see the thumbnail for what is being recording what is being recorded and that would be this one right here so you know everything's working out you, you know it's actually being recorded into this um, into this file right here. So there you go. Alright, well I hope y'all find this useful and that you can now preserve your own memories. Thanks for watching.